Ooh. What? Wait, we just duplicated it. Oh my it. god, we duplicated <laughs> a devil. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Wait. <laughs> this game's so bad. <laughs> we just so duplicated it. Wait, dude. So you, you we both, both skinned both the same skin. mob. Yes. Because we were both spamming it to beat the other one and we skinned it. How's it going, guys? Big shit you eat here. And right, today, I've been gaming all day, so I'm a bit fucking a bit sleepy. My voice. And Scoff just had a shower, feeling good. Feeling good after the game and sesh. But, let me just correct that. We gotta, there's some shit we gotta talk about today. I'm sick. So yeah, basically, the game has been out for a week. Eight days, um, eight and a half days, let's just go with that. Eight and a half days. Q times are getting better, and... There's some things I gotta talk about, but there's some big news that happened. First of all, 10 man dungeon cleave was nerfed. Big shit was right. I knew that shit wasn't legit. And it existed for multiple days, and the fact that it, 10 man dungeon cleave existed that long, how it did, is a complete joke. It kinda like damaged some of the integrity, but I mean, I don't blame anyone for doing it. I like doing whatever is efficient, and especially if you're trying to go for a world first, of course you're gonna do that. And that was entirely Blizzard's fault. And yeah, some people think it's like, oh, you're on your high horse if you think that, uh, oh, Dungeon Cleave is toxic. But I mean, that shit was fucking toxic to the game. The world was empty. And just because you have been playing servers for 10 years doesn't mean everyone has. That shit needed to be nerfed, and I'm glad it did. So at least they fixed it now. Um, but yeah, the damage has been a little bit done, but it's it's not the end of the world. Moving on server transfers and soon they'll be releasing a bunch of new servers posted on the screen bunch of new servers coming out alright so the list here is Arugal to Felstriker and then Ferlina and Stalag will be able to transfer to Heartseeker uh, Stalag oh, sorry, Herod and Scaram to Earth Fury will be the new realm Incendius and Thalnos to Nether Wind Fairbanks and Whitemane to Arcanite <laughs> Arcanite fucking Reaper what an <laughs> Dude, when are we getting the Nicker as a name, man? The Black Rock Slicer Realm, come on. We want it. The people demand it. Uh, Bigglesworth can move to Ana Anathema, boys. Anathema's back. Ale Elysium's Anathema is has returned. Peggle will be able to go to Windseeker, and then Grobulus will go to Deviate Delight. So, there'll be transfers. I'm not moving off here, Odd. I don't advise. I mean, if you're a solo player, you're probably best moving off, but... Like, if you're in a guild, just stick it out because the queues are going to get better when the, the solo dad gamers move off when they come home from work and they're level 30 characters, 40 hours in queues. So, I mean, it'll get better for everyone, the queues. So, yeah, there you go. That's fixed. And, or it's going to help a lot. But I think, like, now, moving on, this is a good time to go with the layering thing because this is all kind of related. Like... I mean, I've already. You can exploit it with arcane crystals. You can exploit it with black lotus, devil sore. I mean, I already. I did a. I did a quest run in, in Goro, and I have 22 devil sore leather. Like you can just fucking layer hop and exploit the shit out of that. And I mean, everyone knows you can. It's not like me making this video is exposing a big secret. You can literally just infi farm devil sore. So I'm hope. So it, phase two is gonna be doomed for the dad gamers when layering's gone, and. People have like hundreds of devil swords stacked up. You'll be like, we'll be rich just because we're ahead of this curve. Like, I'm level 55 today. I logged off a bit early, well, not early, but earlier than usual. I get a good night's sleep. And hopefully, I mean, I'm, I'm just hoping for some fucking work. Shit. I don't want to play this game anymore. I mean, I do, but you know, sometimes I actually want. I want to take the break, you know what I mean? I want I, I want a nice I want a nice break from the game. So like if I if work comes up, I'm I'm going 100%. I'm not gonna say no, because like my work at the moment is kind of like oh we need a guy like and I'm like all right I'll come. I get paid like decent money, so fuck it why not? But I said no the last time, and I'm gonna come this time though. So yeah, it's definitely 100% exploitable, and I think like that's another thing bringing me back to the start why did we need layering in the first place the argument is i know it's it's too late by now but 
I'm still gonna fucking ramble on about this because it pisses me off every time I get, fucking get, get layered or I'm near like an ally that I know and I can't see him there, so I can't fucking clobber his head in. Like it just, it's so dumb, dude. Like it's so fucking bad layering. It's so damaging to the game. It's actually like the like infinite devil sword thorium black low. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke. Like layering is a fucking mess and. You didn't even need it. Like, if they, they come out with fucking three East Coast servers in the first place, and what? Like, Thanos claimed, is, is claimed by Brazil, and the other one's claimed by the streamers, so we have... We have freaking one server. The hell is one server, dude? Like, of course it's gonna be fucking packed, and then they were gonna make a couple more, but the demand for this game's huge. It hit 1.2 million. It just proves that Blizzard was out of touch and did not understand the demand for WoW Classic. And the demand was fucking massive, and there's they've like they've like octupled their servers. Like, why couldn't they just make octupled? Why couldn't they octuple their servers in the first fucking place? And then, like, as servers die, just merge them. You're doing fucking transfers anyways. You're offering free transfers off a of realm. People are gonna have to rename if they want to transfer anyways. And I mean, I guess you could say this is consensual, but it wouldn't have fucking damaged the entire economy and integrity of the game if you just made enough servers for people to plan around in the first place people would have evenly spread around their guilds rather than like whatever the mess you have now and layering's ruined it so it's just so it was so short-sighted it wasn't needed I, I i don't care i'll never budge on my belief i don't care what blizzard says i don't care what people who know blizzard say they blizzard said i don't believe blizzard the whole reason they went with this system is so they don't have to change from their cloud server infrastructure they have a completely new in-house server infrastructure all like this fucking la sharding layering cloud technology shit that they have going on and that they don't want to have hardline servers that can support 5 to 10k people they just don't want to because they're they're lazy dude they're cheap and they're lazy and i guarantee you activision gave them a tiny the tiniest budget to do this game because they didn't they didn't believe in it they gave them the tiniest budget so the, i mean the blizzard devs probably didn't even have the option to like up, get hardline servers but a hey. hopefully it's fixed sooner than i mean layering's are gone in phase two so it should get better then and i mean that just gives all the needs an advantage with layering we can just abuse the fuck out of it with our high level but yeah, moving on, we did a Black Rock, Black Rock Depths today, and it was like, the trash, I would say, overall felt easier than on a private server. No, we didn't have a shield, we just ran in with sweeping strikes and fucking mauled shit down, but General Angerforge, dude, he summons like 60 fucking mobs, and he just rapes ass, dude, that shit is hard. And apparently Angerforge is dropping Hand of Justice, and that guy is like halfway through the dungeon. Usually it's only Emperor who drops it, so... I'm going to be farming Anger Forge runs, definitely, if he's dropping that. Like, I don't know what patch that was on, but it's got to gotta be farmed. And that moves me on to... Yeah, that's actually probably it. Just a short video, honestly. I was going to talk about how uh, 1.12 post-nerf content was probably a mistake with also having... 1.12 talents and itemization, but honestly, like, that's a dead horse. We all know that. It's too late. And, I mean, seeing guilds wipe for 10 hours now, like, we saw apes steamroll it, but, I mean, it's apes. They're fucking god gamers. We saw stay safe's ga gamer, dad gamer guild with the warrior tank who had it, doesn't even have berserker stance, so he got flung in the air by a rag, and he couldn't even intercept back, so he died of fall damage from what I heard. Like, like what kind of fucking gamer is that? How are you even 60, buddy? Like what's wrong with you? Why do you why don't you have Berserker stance? And they wiped ten hours in MC, uh Soda Poppins Guild wiped a bunch, so it's not too easy. I mean it's MC and no one expects it to be like fucking mythic mythic fucking Ashar or whatever the hell, whatever raid in BFA, but at least at least they're at least guilds are wiping. At least at least these like nobody or these nobody like vanilla players aren't just steamrolling this shit, so that's a good sign. Anyways, but yeah, that's all. I'll probably be streaming full previous farming. So yeah, if you want to see all the content, I mean, I'll be streaming it all. I'm level 55. Going to be doing Ubers, Lobers, BRD, fucking all the dungeons. The undead dungeons, Strat, Live, Strat, Dead, fucking Scalo. The whole works. Have Winter Spring and the Plague Lands left. And I'm done questing. So that's it, boys. Talk to you later.